Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today's video is part two video of yesterday's video. Uh, in yesterday's video, we looked into list position of function of Power Query, uh, where we get the search position uh, of a text uh, within another text. So in this part two video, I'm going to extend that functionality and have showcase another functionality of the same function. Before I start the video, I want to, uh, actually this video is based on a question posted on uh, Power BI Community Forum. And let me walk through the question the user posted and then we will look into the solution. Let's look at the question first. So the question posted by user is search by keyword in another table and multiple groupings. So basically what user is looking for, um, search a table column keywords from another table and link it back to that new table, essentially creating a useful groupings from the keywords. And he said he found many useful examples and could not solve the, uh, his problem. And uh, so quickly here is what he showed, like a keyword table, which has the keywords and the type of the keyword. And then he has the reference table. So which has the, uh, these three columns. So basically what he's looking for, look at the comment uh, value or this row for each row by row and find out what are the keywords in this comment by looking at the keyword table. And once we find out what are the keywords in this comment, and then we also want to know the type of those keywords. So this is what he's actually looking for. He tried using DAX and uh, eventually uh, this is what the output is expected to see. Uh, like um, for example, in this one, he said, I love the staff is in the comment and the staff is the keyword and the type is the keyword. Uh, is this, uh, For the keyword is staff. Similarly, in this academics are great. Academics is a, is a keyword and the staff. And then one more thing, there could be a multiple keywords in the same sentence. So for example, in this one, the staff give great seminars. So there are two keywords in here, staff and seminars. And, uh, and the seminar is that the type of the seminar is content and the type of the keyword of staff is staff. So it's not like a one-to-one, -one. one comment text can have a many keywords. So this is what he, uh, we are looking for. And moving forward, he also mentioned, so I, I can now use the type column to filter my data however I want. So it's pretty pretty interesting problem. And uh, again, uh, this can be solved DAX, but then he said if preferred power query. So again, this is what the problem uh, we have in our hand and we will be solving uh, through power query. Um, so let's get to Power BI and look at the data and the solution. So here in Power BI, I have two tables, reference table, again, the similar data I picked from uh, his sample data. So gender department comment, and I added an index column here. We will talk about why we, I added the index column. Uh, this is purely for the relationship and uh, because we, we need a unique key in the, in a, for each row uh, to create the relationship in our data model. Uh, so I added the index column. So basically we have three columns and then the index uh, column I added. And then we have a keywords table similarly from his uh, post. So we have these keywords and this is the type of the keyword. So I, I'm going to walk through step by step and then eventually I all the steps I put it in a Power Query function and then we will call that function. Basically get the same result. But I want to show in that function what are the different steps we are doing to achieve the final result. So here is the, so what I'm doing is, so reference is the main table and the keywords is a, you can say reference is a dimension and keywords is a dimension. We are basically going to build a bridge table where reference will have many keywords and one key, uh, one keyword, one type will have many keywords. So I did a video on many to many and one to many using bridge table. I will put the link of that video in the description do check out that video as well. That's a, a, for the data modeling perspective, that's very, very interesting. So that's what we are going to uh, do here as well. Um, so here is step by step, uh, how we're gonna achieve the final result. So the reference keywords is the table which I created using step by step uh, how, uh, to, to, to transform the data. So let's, uh, let's look at the each step in this particular uh, reference keywords. Um, so the first is a, it is referring to the reference table. Uh, of course, that's our main table. And in the next step, I removed all the columns because we don't need, um, we don't need, we only need the index column and the comment column because that's what we are interested in. 
In the third step, uh, what I did is I split the common table, uh, the column uh, with the space. The reason why we sp split because I want to uh, get the list of all the values, uh, all the words in the common tables. So if we look at the first particular line, if I click on the list column here, what you see here is we have a list of lectures and lessons are really good. So this is basically each word we are extracting out of our comment where the space is. So that's what this uh, function is doing. Why I'm using uh, one more thing I want to um, highlight here, uh, try and otherwise, the reason why I'm using try otherwise, because if there is a null, we will get an error. To avoid the error, I can check if uh, comment is equal to null, then don't do anything. But I use try, so in try, if there is an error, it will return the null. So if I don't use try and uh, otherwise, let me show you guys, it will give an error message in the in the row two. So look, here it is error. What we can do here is either remove errors or uh, do other things of how we can overcome the error. But I'm using uh, try and uh, if there is an error, then otherwise null value. So if there is an error, just return the null value. So if you haven't used this function, do check out this function in the Power Query. This is very, very powerful uh, in terms of uh, uh, controlling, like basically it's an error control in any programming language. And now once we have the, we have split our comment by words into a list, the next step is now we have the list and we need to iterate through the each word in our list and see if this word exists in the keyword table. If this exists in the keyword table, it means that, that is the keyword in this particular comment, uh, what we are looking for. So if I go in this, this is the next step. It's a little bit long uh, a, a, a code here. Let me actually open in, I'm adding a new column and then added this code. Let me show you what is happening in this code. So this is core of the logic uh, of, of this whole, whole thing. So what again, try and otherwise is just to control the error. So we are using the list transform function. So what the list transform function does is it allows us to iterate over the list and create our own transformation rules, whatever we want. So what I'm doing is list transform, split set text to list. That is our, uh, uh, the new column, which we added in the previous step, all the words from our comment. So I'm going list transform over my list of the words and then I'm trying to, uh, here I'm finding the list position of, I'm finding if this each word exists in my keyword uh, list. Do check out part one video where I go on in depth on the list position of function, how does that work? So this is the exact function which I used in my part one video is being used here. So do check out uh, this that video. So basically now once we execute this code, uh, what we will get here is as you can see this is the new column get added the search position so if i go look at the search position value so what i see here is i get the position of the each keyword uh, uh, in my in my keyword table so as you can see the lectures exist in the keyword uh, table so that's the position is 3 uh, and then minus 1 mean this particular word does not exist in the keyword table and which is the and in, in this particular case and does not exist in a keyword. So that's why we are getting minus 1. So wherever minus 1, it means that word does not exist in the keyword table. And wherever there is a value uh, except minus 1, it means that is the position of uh, the keyword in the keyword table. So that's what is happening. Three and four are the two keywords found, which is lectures and lessons. And uh, that, so if I go into the split, so lectures and le lessons are found. If we go here in the row number three, I love the staff. So our our word list is I love the staff is four, uh, uh, four items in the list. And then such position, if we look in that, the, the minus one, minus one, minus one, the first three uh, items does not found in the keyword list. And the last one, which is the staff found in the position is seven. So this is what this search position is doing. So now we know what are the keywords uh, in this comment we found in the keyword table. So uh, what I'm doing in the next step, I am removing items, list using list remove items from the search position, I'm removing minus one because minus one means that uh, word does not exist in the keyword 
table so that's what we are happening so now if i look at the if you look at the first row in the search position we have a a six uh, items in the list because these are the six words in the comment but when we are in a remove position we only left with with two uh, items which is three and four minus one is uh, gone because that is we are not interested in that and because that does not exist in the keyword uh, table so if we go into each list uh, as you can see i had a fun time there is no keyword in this particular comment which exists in the keyword table and that's why our list is blank and similarly in here this this we found one one uh, keyword and um, so that's what is happening the remove position is actually now gave us the keywords what we are interested in so once we have the search position what we can do is now we can get the keyword so again this is the next step i added a new column again the reason i'm adding as in a column i just want to show walk through step by step how this transformation happened uh, eventually we will put all these steps in one function and then we will just call one final function and the, it will give us the the result what we are interested in so again now what i'm doing here is uh, if we click on the uh, get keywords and what I'm trying to do here is uh, from the list transform again, uh, the remove position, that is the column, which has all the positions uh, we found. And we are iterating over those positions and because list transform iterate over the, um, the list and then table column keyword. So we are looking at that. We are converting the keyword column in the keywords table to a list and then uh, wherever the positions are found, we are making it as a, a delimited, uh, a combining it by comma. That's what the text.combine is doing. Text.combine convert the list into a text uh, by the delimiter we will provide here. I provided the comma. So what I have is uh, now I have the in part, first row, I have a two keywords, lecture and lesson. So these are the from comment. We found two keywords, which is lecture and lesson for this particular comment. In the row number three, I love the staff. We found one keyword, which is staff. In the last row, the staff gave great seminars. We found two keywords, staff and seminar. So finally, we got the result, what we are interested in. Now from here, it is very, very easy. So what we're gonna do is remove the column. So we remove everything else because now we just only interested in the keywords, what, what, we, what we are looking for. This is the final output. Uh, and then I split. Uh, the columns by delimiter and uh, if you just uh, one thing I want to make sure when you're splitting it you want to go into the advanced options and split into rows not into columns so we basically now for each index index is our primary key uh, has now multiple keywords as a rows so here is what I did in split column by delimiter uh, this is part of uh, in that in the uh, split column action on the on the menu in the toolbar so the, the the key here is that you want to make sure that you are clicking on the advanced option and then selecting rows and now we have uh, in each like index zero we have the two rows lecture and lesson as a keyword uh, index one uh, we don't have any it's a null and three does not have any value it's a blank and the finally what i'm doing is i'm removing any blank and null and this is the final output we have and then of course the change type so all this uh, so this is now gave us the result what we're looking for if i close and apply now i have a, a data model what i'm interested in i'm just going to show you guys so here in the data model what we have is the keyword table keyword table is connected to the reference keywords which we just created so it is uh, it is now have a relationship on the keywords so one keyword um, um, one reference keyword table have many keywords and the keywords is a unique um, uh, a, a table with a unique value of keywords and that's why it's one to many and the reference is our main table and uh, it if one index one row has multiple keywords and that's why it is one to many and that's index column I added to set the relationship if in your model already have a primary key, let's say order number, customer number, whatever it is, you can use that as your um, for the relationship. Then you don't need to add the index column. It's purely for uh, to create this relationship. So reference keywords is now playing a role of a bridge table between keywords and the reference table. And again, as I said, I did a video on many to many and the bridge table. Do check out that video 
as well. So this is our data model look like, and, and that's the output what we're looking for. Now, as I mentioned, I, I, I was going to create a one function and then we will call that function and put all these transformation step into, uh, into that function. So I already created a function called here f and search keywords. So if we look at the um, this function, I'm passing one value to it search text, what text we want to search, basically a comment. And I also added another uh, condition in ignore case. Again, do check out part one video where I explained what the ignore case is going to do. And all those steps, what we did one by one by adding columns, I brought all those text uh, uh, steps here. First, we split our search text into list, and then we get the keyword list, and we also get the type list. I don't need it actually, I was testing something. And then we did the list transformation where we get the position of our keywords. And the remove position is, of course, we remove the minus one, which we did not find those words we did not find in the keyword table. And that's what the remove position is, gave us only the position what we're interested in. And then finally, we get the keywords by list text dot combined. So I did created another a table just to give the example how the using the function look like. So again, the source is reference. Uh, I removed all the columns, what I'm not interested in. So I am only interested in index and comment. And I added a, a custom uh, column here uh, called keywords. And here what I did is if comment is null, then null, don't do anything. Otherwise, I called the function which I, we just uh, uh, seen. So I called the function called f and search keywords. I pass the comment, which is this value, and then the true or false for the ignore case. And then once we call the function, the function has returned us, uh, um, uh, once we call the function, the function has returned us the uh, each index, the uh, a combined text of the keywords by separate by comma. So this is what we received. And that's what I showed you how step by step we did in the pre, uh, in the other table. So I removed my comment column. I don't need it. So now the, from here onward, everything is the same. We split the columns into keywords into rows and then we get the same result. And uh, here you go. So again, this is very, very powerful. So if you have a long text and you want to find out the keywords, you can maintain your keywords table outside somewhere as in a metadata, you can have a type of the keywords and then now you can transform the data, find out from text what are the keywords, what their types are and through the data modeling now, now you can visualize the data, you can, you can uh, uh, slice on type, you can slice on a different like number of comments. Uh, that contains a certain type or a certain keywords and now you have the whole solution in place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Do check out part one video because that explains list dot position of function more in depth and that is mainly used in this particular uh, video as well. Uh, until next video, have a great day. Do subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.